I'm going to show you how to uh, embed a link to a brain pop video into your course. Uh, the first thing we need to do is start a new page. So in order to start a new page, we're going to hit the plus sign right here. And you know, we have our drop down menu where we have different things that we can choose. Well, since we are not uh, doing an assignment or a quiz, let's go ahead and click page, click new page. And because this is a brain pop, let's call it brain pop. And let's pretend that you are teaching clauses. And so let's just name it clauses, add item, and click the name of the page so that you can get into the course. And if you can't really do anything right now because nothing, your editing is not available. So go up here and click edit. And now you've got your editing tools. All right, so we have a blank page right here to put all your information. Um, but we have to go find our information. So let's go to Brain Pop. Up here, you're going to click the plus sign, and we're going to go to brainpop.com. And here's all the different things. Now, if you don't know the username and password for our Brain Pop, uh, you can get it from our librarian, or I can give it to you. You usually have to log in. I'm already logged in, that's why it didn't ask me for it. And it gives you, you know, all your different subjects. Uh, this one we're doing on clauses, so I'm going to go to English. And here's all the different options. Let's go to grammar. And because we're doing clauses, I'm going to go over here to clauses. And here's our video on clauses. So I'm going to find the link up here. See, here's the link up here. So you're going to select the link and right click on it and copy. So I've now got the link copied. And let's go back to Canvas. All right, so let's um, say watch this brain pop video on clauses. All right, so now there's a couple of things you can do here. I can show you the hard way, I can show you the easy way. The easy way. The easy way is to just go ahead and right click and paste the link. And then after you paste it, press enter a couple of times and there's your link. They can click on it and move on with their lives. The really uh, advanced way to do it is you can select your text up here where it says brain pop on clauses and you can go up here where it has a picture of a chain because that's your link you can click it and you can paste again just like you did earlier and click insert link and what you've done is you you've made these words hyper hyperlinks you've heard of that hyperlinks you've made these hyper and so if they click on this it takes you to brain pop if you click on this it takes you to brain pop it takes you to the same place now what I like to do is put in our usernames and passwords to get to brain pop right here I'm not going to do that for this particular assignment um, I mean for this particular video um, because I, I don't want to share it with the world our username and password with the world um, but I always do that just to keep, you know, to, to inform the students, the username and passwords. It just cuts down on questions. Um, so overall, that's how you embed the link to the students as to how to get to BrainPop so that they can find how to get there. Now, when you get done getting that posted, click Save. And there you go. They can get to it in two different ways here, just depending on what version you want to do. I hope this helps.